Hey, what's up everyone, Olia here. So, how to get sponsorships on YouTube? A very common question I get, especially from my main channel, people are wondering how to get sponsorships for their own videos. So I wanted to go through in this video how to get sponsorships, how to price them, and sort of other stuff around sponsored videos. So the first thing is, which might sound very counterintuitive, is don't even think about sponsorships. If you're starting a YouTube channel, don't get into doing YouTube videos thinking that I'm going to make a lot of money from sponsorships because when you first start your YouTube channel and you don't have many subscribers, companies aren't going to want to sponsor your videos. It's really as simple as that. Your focus should be on growing your YouTube channel, not thinking about making money, not thinking about making sponsorships or anything like that. It should be focused on growing that channel, putting out good content, building up your own personality, brand, whatever else it may be. I know some people have concerns of do you need to show your face on camera? I don't think you necessarily do if you make a YouTube channel, especially these days. I think you can be completely faceless, but that's a topic for another video. The focus should be on growing your own channel first. Once you've done that, sponsors will come naturally. And that's exactly what's happened to me. When I first started growing my channel, I didn't go for after sponsorships. I didn't email any companies or anything like that. They started naturally emailing me, getting in touch with me, wanting to sponsor videos. This also puts me in a better position to negotiate because these companies are coming to me instead of me going to them. They're interested in me. They're interested in what I have to say. They like my channel. So I can charge a bit more than if I were to go out and looking for it. And I can also have a lot more creative control over the sponsorship itself. Now, how to price your sponsorships. So a good rule of thumb that I've seen is to work out the average amount you have on your videos. So for example, let's just say you get 50,000 views per video. Then you want to charge a CPM of anywhere between 20 to $50. Again, this is just me sort of making it up as I go along, but this is what I've seen other people do as well. CPM is basically how much you're going to charge per thousand views. So let's say you get 50,000 views per video on average, and you charge a CPM of $50, then you would charge the brand $2,500 for the ad spot. Now, this CPM value can vary so, so much depending on the channel, because depending on the type of videos you make, you can charge less or you can charge more. So for example, finance related channels like mine, you would charge a lot more because on average, advertising and money in finance is obviously a lot more than say toys, opening toys. So. That's how you want to see it. You don't want to sort of set yourself to a standard, a uh, sort of standard fee. You want to figure out what type of content you make, the value of your content and how engaged your audience is. My minimum sponsorship for my main channel is $2,000. I will not accept any less than $2,000. However, I have asked for a lot more. One of the biggest sponsorships I got was for around $15,000 which is pretty good for a channel like mine. I usually vary the pricing of the sponsorships depending on what the brand is actually looking for. So, you know, some brands might be looking for just a 30 second ad spot. Some brands might be looking for a dedicated integration. Some brands might be looking for a dedicated video. So there's things you've got to take into account when it comes to the pricing. There are some channels that can get paid a million or more. It really depends on the channel. You know, if you have a channel with over 10 million subscribers, 20 million subscribers, it's not really far fetched to charge over a million dollars for sponsorship. That's actually pretty normal because you've got to remember the audience, the views, it's just so much more engaged than say a TV ad or a magazine ad or a print ad or something like that. You know, you have a dedicated creator here endorsing a product that they most likely use themselves and they most likely would recommend themselves. So the value of that ad spot is much more valuable, basically. Casey Neistat actually mentioned in the H3 podcast that he charges six figures. He doesn't say the exact amount, but he's charged hundreds of thousands for ad spots and sponsorships in his videos. I think he's a great example of a creator who sort of takes sponsorships and does really creative videos with them. You've also got to think about what you're bringing to the brand. So when a brand has got in touch with you, they're usually coming to you because they want to raise awareness for a product or their brand itself, which in return makes them money. So the more money you can make for a company, the more money you can make for a brand, the more they're going to pay you naturally. That, that's how it works. So that doesn't necessarily mean that the more subscribers and the more views you have, the more money you will make for a brand. So as an example, a channel with 100,000 very engaged subscribers who very much listen to what the person has to say may actually make more money for a brand than a channel with a million subscribers who maybe gets quite good views, but their audience just isn't as well engaged, or maybe the age and the household income of their audience is much lower. 
So you've really got to think about your audience. You've got to think about the age range that you're targeting and you've got to think about what sort of income would they have? Because when I look at the analytics for my main channel, my bulk audience is mainly between 25 to 40. So quite a bit older. And usually they have quite a bit of money to spend on gadgets and tech. You know, that's why they come into my channel in the first place. They are interested in high end gadgets and tech. And that's obviously going to be a much more valuable audience than say a channel that's making product videos on just toys that are less than $50 or less than $20. Naturally, you know, people who watch those videos aren't going to have as much money to spend. So really think about the audience, really think about your own audience and think about what you're bringing to the brand. Type of sponsorships. So one thing I never do is paid reviews. So if a brand comes to me and they're like, hey, we'd love for you to review our product and we'll pay you for it. I always say no. I'm always like, look, I can do a video on your product. I could maybe include it in a video or something like that but I'm never going to classify it as a review. And I'm never going to say in that video that it's a review. You know, I can give my impressions and whatever else, but I think coming across as a review, telling the viewer that it's a review is very disingenuous. And I think it can just taint your credibility, mainly because a brand can clearly buy what you have to say about the product. I also usually try to go for sponsored spots that only take up a small portion of the video, for example, 30 to 60 seconds. Skillshare is one of my very regular long-time sponsors. They're amazing to work with and they're very aligned with my audience, but at the same time, they don't have any creative control over any of my videos. All they care about is just making sure that the word gets out about their brand and about their company. And they helped my channel a lot. They support my channel a lot. Brands like that are fantastic to work with. I also like brands that sponsor projects. So if I can bring a brand on and they can sponsor a project that I'm doing, Maybe I'm doing like a workspace makeover or an office makeover, or maybe I'm giving away something. If they can sponsor that for me, that is great. I think that's a great form of doing a sponsored video. So those are just some of the things that I've learned from doing sponsored videos over the years. Hopefully my experience has helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer a few questions, which I think are worth answering. But the main thing I wanna drive home, especially to new creators, is just don't focus on getting sponsorships. As you make great content, as you grow your channel, sponsors will just come naturally to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more. So quickly before I finish this video off, please subscribe to my email newsletter. I share content there that you just won't find anywhere else, mainly because it doesn't fit anywhere else. I think it only fits in the email newsletter. And I've also had a lot of questions with regards to the lighting, the mic and whatever else. I do leave links to my gear in the description below and I also got a new microphone. So let me know what you think about the audio quality. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.